G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well today I'm pretty excited because I finally got my hands on a W Toys 144001. Now this one has been out for about a month and a half maybe and every time I've tried to order it, it's been out of stock. So I finally got this one in from Banggood and I'm pretty excited about it. Um, yeah, so like I said, this one's just been released. It's hugely popular since its launch and this one runs off a bigger 550 brushed motor it's got quality metal parts and uh, comes in a couple of colors here it comes in this blue and green uh, body shell and this white and red this is the color that i've got inside so uh yeah wl toys um they haven't brought out any new buggies for a while this is a 114 scale so it's a fairly decent size it's made for speed running, I think, and off-road, but I've got a feeling a lot of guys are going to turn these into speed runners. I'm definitely going to have a bit of fun uh, testing out the speeds on this one later on. As you know, I like to do speed runs and see what type of speeds they get out of the box and so forth. But uh, in years gone by, uh, you would notice this one, guys. It's been around for quite a few years now. This has got to be probably the most popular buggy or budget rc that wl toys has ever released it still is today uh, this is the wl toys 118 scale a959b buggy they also make the trucks as well guys i've got both of them now these are both a couple of years old guys and uh i run these uh on 3s stock out of the box pretty much uh all on all the stock brushed electronics and I've managed to get these two to go over 70 odd Ks an hour quite easily, around 74, 75 Ks an hour. So these are hugely popular, especially the buggy. And uh, a lot of guys turn these into uh, brushless buggies for speed runs. And, you know, they get some crazy speeds out of them. So uh, there's a big aftermarket base of parts for these. There are a lot of metal parts for this uh, model including the whole chassis, all these components. You can get them, pretty much turn this thing into a full metal build. And I've got a feeling later on down the track, as this one starts to, uh, you know, um, age a little bit, I guess, uh, in the near future, I can see a lot of uh, aftermarket parts start to roll out with this new 144001. So anyway guys, let's get into the box. I'll quickly show you. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing today because I haven't got time to run it. So I just got this in, so I just want to share it with you guys. You've probably seen a few videos already on it, no doubt, if you've been looking up this particular buggy. But here's what we get. Uh, we've got just a basic user manual. We've got a plastic uh, T-bar wrench for the wheels. And this time they pack a new styled uh, USB uh well it's not a usb it plugs into usb but uh it's actually like a little balance charger here so that's pretty cool for 2s lipos so they've got a different charger here so that's awesome so that's what you get in the little goodie bag okay guys i got everything out of the box to save a bit of time so here it is here guys as you can see it's dampened by oil filled shocks look at that very very nice they've decided to up the ante a bit and put oil filled shocks from out the box this time unlike the previous little uh a9 5 series uh versions but uh yeah look if they feel pretty good uh they seem like they've got the right amount of oil in them they don't feel too soft or too firm so they should do a really good job off-road it's got a lot of clearance too underneath to go off-road bashing as you can see there and uh yeah i'm really happy with the color i chose here this is the the red, silver, and white, as you can see here, body show, I reckon it looks pretty striking. And uh, as you can see, at first glance, we've got a lot of metal parts on this one. It's a really good quality tr uh, buggy for the price, guys, especially for the price these are going for, and they're not that much. Uh, we've got a big wing on the back for aero, and uh, we'll just go into the back here. You can see all the turnbuckles are metal, we have also the dog bones and diff cups of metal. The metal centers, uh, the diff centers itself are all metal geared, alloy geared, okay guys? And just a heap of metal on this one, guys. Look at the suspension on this. We've got uh, also some pretty cool looking moon disc wheels on it. 
made for speed running. You know, it's got that speed run look to these wheels and some really nice grippy tyres as well. Uh, you can see the tread pattern is really meant, like, like the previous version, for uh, on-road use as well. So uh, these are going to grip really well, I can tell. Nice and soft compound and we have sponge filled wheels and tyres. All right. On the front, more metal again. We've got the metal uh, tower braces front and rear as well. And on the bottom here, as you can see, it's all aluminum uh, chassis skid plate as well with countersunk uh, Phillips head screws to mount all the components inside. So yeah, awesome buggy guys. All full metal. Now I'll take off the shell. Have a look inside at what powers this buggy. And here it is here. We have a big 550 brush motor this time. Previous models of WL Toys buggies uh, had, even the Rock Racers had the 540, which is a little bit smaller than this, but as you can see, it's stamped on the side of this brush motor, 550. Got aluminum uh, motor mount there. Doesn't look like it's adjustable, okay. And uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. We've got a little mini servo here with again, uh, the servo arm here has got a little turnbuckle that is metal and check out the servo saver on this one guys Pretty nice Pretty nice servo saver there and I just uh, Turning the wheels left and right. This is really smooth too guys Really smooth steering on this one. So I'm really looking forward to running it uh, You can see the tail shaft here is uh, anodized in red so it's got a aluminum uh, center shaft here to drive the full drive system of this buggy and like the previous version we have an all-in-one brushed ESC receiver combo and here is the little uh, on and off switch just there all right guys the battery is a let me just get it out it is pretty much like the previous models uh, it's a 1500 let me just dig it out here it is, yeah, it's a 1500 milliamp hour two cell battery, 7.4 volt, just like the little uh, A959 series that had the same exact spec uh, battery. So there we go. Gonna charge this one up. This should give us maybe about 10 minutes drive time, maybe, maybe a bit less. But uh, as you can see, we've got plenty of room here. In this uh, battery compartment section as you see this time on this model they've put the ESC receiver combo above the main uh, chassis plate top plate here from front to rear where the spur gear is now I believe the spur gear on this one is uh, plastic okay it's not metal so I am I'm pretty sure WL Toys are going to make metal uh, spur gears for this in the near future, no doubt, as well as more uh, metal components as well, like all the control arms and so forth, like they did with the little 18-scale vehicles. Now, but what I want to mention is that uh, I was on talking about the battery bay. As you can see, it's got a little plate here, okay, for the little uh, 1,500 milliamp hour battery, but this plate... Cool thing about it, this plate, you can remove it just by undoing these two screws here. And as you can see, there's vacant holes here. So what you can do, undo that little plastic bracket for the battery and slide it over here and put those screws in. So in effect, we've got all this room here extended from the, the where they've put it from factory to these holes here. See that? So you can fit a really large LiPo on the side of this buggy. So that's really awesome. I really like that idea and good on you WL Toys for doing that. So anyway guys, yeah, I've pretty much gone through the whole lot. As you can see, there's a lot of metal parts on this one. Okay, last but not least, here's the controller guys. Pretty standard issue, uh, toy grade WL Toys controller. These ones have been around for quite a while, especially with a Rock Racer series like the 12428. Uh, series of rock races and so forth but yeah fairly simple controller there's nothing on this side so all your controls and and uh, trimmers on are on one side so it's got a little nice sponge uh, wheel here pretty neat controller. I've used these before 
Uh, we've got a standard uh, throttle trim here. You can wind that down to make it go slow. You know, you always have it in the full throttle position so you get the most power out of your vehicle. And a standard uh, turn dial for the trimmer here, for the steering trim. On and off switch, just there, and a little mode button, which I don't really know what it does, but uh, it's just there. All right, guys, so uh, four AA batteries on the bottom of that, and that's basically it. Very simple controller. Apparently, this one should give us around 100 meters of range while we're driving, so. All right, guys, well, that concludes this video on the WL Toys 144001 14-scale buggy. Really look forward to testing this one out possibly tomorrow i don't have time today unfortunately but uh i thought i'll do a quick unboxing and overview of it hope you enjoyed this video guys if you're interested in this one i'll put some uh links below this one came from banggood so i'll put some uh, links to this buggy so you can check out the specs and prices for yourself also throw in a couple of uh coupon codes that i know that do work i've tested them myself if i find any other better codes i'll definitely put them in the description below as well to save you a few more dollars all right guys well stay tuned uh to the next video on this one i'll be doing a full driving test review and then i'll be um doing a couple of speed runs on this on this buggy which i'm really looking forward to all right guys so if you like this video guys feel free to like it uh feel free to comment as always i really do appreciate you guys tuning in video after video and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell that way you'll be notified each time i upload a new rc video i've got a few cool things coming up very very soon so stay tuned for those as well all right guys i'm out of here have a great day and i'll catch you on the next video until then happy rcing bye for now